we're moving to a pitch um, with, again, a completely different form of passion, but very passionate to actually make the plastic in our world work for us. Please welcome to the stage Sabine from Green Phoenix. Get the skills, baby. Get the feel, baby. Get the mood, baby. Get the groove, baby. Get the groove, baby. Get the run. Get the run. Get the skills, baby. Get the feel, baby. Get the mood, baby. Get the groove, baby. Get the run. 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 Sabina, all the way from Curaçao. A birdie told me that you're wearing something special tonight. Yes, that's true. Please, tell us more. Well, I'm wearing this beautiful dress made by Dress Code 010, and it's made from pet bottles, so plastic bottles. Plastic bottles made that dress. Now, I'm always surprised how plastic can look that slick. Um, <laughs> Green Phoenix, I've, I've seen your logo. I've never seen a turtle so funky. What's up with Green Phoenix? Well, uh, Green Phoenix actually um, was born out of Sea Turtle Conservation Curacao, because that's the organization I applied for in Present Your Startup. But that's an NGO, and we're already doing really well. Um, but the struggle we have is with the funding, and that's why I applied. Um, but it makes more sense to also have a company next to it that can provide funding for Sea Turtle Conservation Curacao, mm -hmm. and that's why I decided to um, found, fund uh, Green Phoenix. A turtle with wings, perfect. Yes. Wonderful. Born Good out of the waste plastic. And enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. If we don't change anything now, our oceans will have more plastic in the sea than fish by 2050. Most people don't realize that only 14% of the plastic that we use is being recycled. That means 86% goes to waste and might end up as pollution. The core of this global problem is that we live in a linear economy in which products become waste at the end of the life cycle, overthrowing our Earth with pollution. Virgin plastic is pretty cheap, and that's why it's often preferred over recycled content. And that's profitable short term, but the price we pay as a society long term is enormous. The plastic pollution has become one of the biggest challenges of our lifetime, and Green Phoenix is going to address that by promoting a circular economy. So my name is Sabine Berense. I'm the founder of Green Phoenix, and we promote circular systems and products uh, in the Caribbean, uh, and we do so with strong local and international partners. Green Phoenix offers three things. Retail services for producers of waste to product products. Um, we offer um, company sustainability assessments, um, and we are also a manufacturer of meaningful products. And in that, our first product will be a Phoenix bin, which basically is a colorful recycling bin made from waste plastic, ideal for hotel rooms and offices, that helps us um, fast facilitate recycling. Um, and that's actually what all of our activities do. We reduce waste and pollution, we increase recycling, and we help companies reach their sustainable development goals. In Curacao, I have been pretty lucky because after the finals in Curacao, I found funders for the first step. I pitched a three-step model, and uh, well, the first year would be the first step, but I'm set with that. And then we were starting to think, well, this final here in, in the global final would be the best opportunity to make the impact that we want to make quicker. So we set up a pilot project for two to three months where 20 passionate and talented people from the Caribbean will come to Curacao and upgrade our production. So we will build capacity for the region. We will make waste plastic transform into meaningful products. And we will start a revolution, a revolution that will go throughout the Caribbean. And to realize that, I need your help. Please go to the link on the screen 
and support us. You can pre-order one of our bins or support us in another way. And I'm, I'm really counting on you because we want to make impact and we need to make, make impact now. It's time. Our oceans are filling up with plastic and we need to change it. My name is Sabine Berendsen and I believe circular is our only future. Thank you. Well done. So, whilst you all open your mobile phones and go to this link, let's see if there are any questions from the jury. Great pitch, uh, Sabina. Thank uh, you. Very good. And uh, I totally agree that the circular uh, economy is going to be very important and a uh, great stride. I was wondering, what is your biggest challenge to get uh, more traction on this? And, and, and how are you going to do that? And, and are you alone? So three questions, actually. <laughs> so uh, what is our biggest challenge at this time? Um, well, we, we, we found a good partner in Loyals. So we have a, a partner that's going to help us get the traction. I would say, at first, production is our um, main challenge. But we found a solution for that. Um, what was the third question, sorry? You, are you alone, or do you have a team around you? Well, on the payroll, I'm alone at this time, but I'm going to get my 20-person team, and I have a silent um, investor that's helping me uh, with the financial part, because that's not my strong suit. And I, uh, like with Sea Turtle Conservation Curacao, I actually have very talented people around me that help me in every, every way I need. So. Great, good luck. Sabine, so, I love design, and I really love your logo. Thank you. I really like the present. Let's say the uh, the initiative and the presentation. Um, but I'm also curious to the. I mean, you're a charity, 100% charity now, right? And of course, there's revenues that comes out of the products, right? But is that eventually that you want to get money out of that to maybe fund that you really recycle from what's coming on the beach, or do you? How do you see that in the future? Let's say the the business model, or will, will it be 100%? Charity. I'm not really sure I understand your question. If you're asking me how are we making money, we yep. already sell meaningful products. Right. We have sold about 11,000 products, uh, merchandise products we made from waste plastic. These are small items. Uh, we have a pretty big uh, tourism industry in Curacao, and these bins, we um, target them for hotels. So with cooperation uh, in the tourism industry, which we already have read pretty well because we are sea turtle conservation Curacao, and well, people like sea turtles, and they come to Curacao to see sea turtles. Um, and I think a lot of hotels especially uh, are aiming to be more sustainable and have an image to be more sustainable uh, because uh, people in Europe expect that of them. Uh, and I think uh, when, we, when we display them in the hotels, it will have a very big reach because people can also take one home or buy one uh, with, yeah. Great, thank you, great. You're welcome. Sabine, a okay. great, a great pitch. Thank you. And being a citizen of Curacao, I'm mighty proud you're here and that you made, you brought a good pitch. Uh, but I have a question. Um, is, how do you promote the link between the sea turtles and the waste well, bins? And the thing is, sea turtles are sentinel species. Uh, which basically means that you need to uh, compare them to a canary in a coal mine. If sea turtles are in trouble, we are in trouble. And they are all endangered species. That should tell you enough. Okay, thank you. Plastic is the biggest, biggest threat to them, so it's also to us. Sabine, so, um, thank you for your good pitch. Um, I have actually two questions. Can you say something about the partners you are uh, dealing with uh, to get this up and running? A second, uh, I can imagine that this problem is not only focused on Curaçao, but maybe a global problem. Do you have any plans to, to get it bigger or, or other areas where this problem is um, visible? Well, um, the Waste No More project is really aimed on the Caribbean, not only on Curaçao. Um, Precious Plastic is actually um, the initiative that enables project like, uh, projects like mine around the world to uh, do something with waste plastic. 
Uh, and there are several partners in Curacao, like Greenforce, Limpi, uh, that have expertise in-house. Um, we have partnerships in the region already, uh, but these are all small-scale product uh, producers. Um, and our aim is to upgrade their production so we can actually manage these local waste streams. Because the, the problem is, bigger industries are not interested, uh, interesting for Curacao and other islands because it, the economies are is too small. Uh, precious plastic is too small. So if you can find something in the middle that's actually ideal for all the islands. So it's not just Curacao, it's the whole Caribbean with 44 million inhabitants. Mm, that's a lot. Thank you. Are there any questions from the crowd? Oh. Ah, we have somebody over here. Getting a workout, John. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Mag ik Nederlands tegen je praten? Ja, natuurlijk. Ja, had je first. Uh, ik had ooit iemand die uh, Bardoggy uh, presenteerde. En die werd uh, tijdens de finale ook heel zenuwachtig. Mm -hmm. Hij heeft nu een hele grote mond. Maar ik, ik merkte een beetje op, uh, uh, ik had een beetje moeite met je presentatie. Maar volgens okay. mij heb je wel onwijze passie om dit te gaan doen. Maar er kwamen een paar vragen bij me op. En, en misschien omdat ik het niet begrijp. En ik ben ook maar een domme kaaskop. Uh, hier kwamen ze. Uh, ik had laatst gehoord dat er een heel groot uh, uh, vrachtschip uh, vanuit San Francisco eruit ging. En die ging overal plastic in de grote oceanen opvangen. Ja. Is dat een mogelijke samenwerking? Um, in eerste instantie niet. Uh, met um, Sea Turtle Conservation Curaçao hebben we al 80.000 gallon plastic van de stranden afgehaald. Uh, en daar hebben we gedeeltelijk wat mee gedaan door er sculptuurtjes van te maken die we verkopen aan toeristen. En dat is leuk, maar dat is heel moeilijk omdat het verschillende soorten plastic gemixt zijn. Mm -hmm. um, en het gaat dus, maar omdat het zo lastig is, is het niet de uh, eerste stap die je zou zetten. Omdat het dus allemaal gemixt is, al in zeewater is geweest met UV-straling. Uh, dus we nemen echt het afval dat op Curaçao verzameld wordt. Greenforce verzamelt 35.000 kilo plastic per maand. Uh, en dat wordt gescheiden en wij kunnen dat gescheiden afnemen van hun en daar dan nieuwe dingen mee maken. Helder, maar dat is eventueel het schaalbare, schaalbare model. Sorry? Het schaalbare model, dat zou in de toekomst kunnen eventueel. Nou, dat kan dit jaar. Ah, oh, top. Hey, en, um, en het maken van die producten, um, hoe ziet dat eruit? Want als ik dan naar de Antillen kijk, denk ik, nou, dat is een beperkte omgeving. Um, Waar laat je het maken en door wie laat je het maken en, en wat zijn de marges dan? Uh, we hebben twee potentiële workshops uh, waar we uh, in zouden kunnen gaan. Dat hangt een beetje van af uh, hoe het vanavond gaat en deze week. Omdat uh, als je twintig mensen moet huisvesten, dan heb je een iets grotere ruimte nodig. En daar hebben we een optie op. Um, en ja, we, we hebben gewoon een goede grote loods nodig waar wat machines in passen. Sorry. Kom Not maar anders even to zoeken, uh, in, in, interrupt, but um, we, we have many international guests here today and they wouldn't be able to follow these interesting questions and answers. So please uh, remain in English. Nou, vooruit. <laughs> um, so what is the exact amount that you need? Okay, we're, we're almost done with 2018. So 2019, 2020. So if you would look at your passion, yes. ideally, are you pitching the right amount or what is it ideally what you would like to see running into your account? Um, well, ideally if, um, well, basically, as you just say, I want $300,000 right now so I can scale to the Caribbean with the pilot. And then after the pilot, I can decide which of the machines would work in the other islands because Each island is a little bit different, so I would prefer to answer that question in half a year. All right, thank you. We can still take another no question from the crowd. Any more questions? Hier yeah. ah. achter in de zaal, ik uh, zie hier binnenkomen welke welke vragen er zijn en of mensen contacten hebben of ze geïnteresseerd zijn om te investeren. 
En bij scheidshuren zijn een aantal mensen die uh, willen verder praten. Dus dat is in ieder geval leuk om, om te vertellen. Very good. Nice. Bij Sabine kan je dat nu nog doen. Dus ga vooral naar fundyourstarter.nl en vul het in. Question, oh, please. Um, hi, thanks first of all for the presentation. Um, regarding your funding, I was interested, why is it not more charity focused? And now it's more folks that funding from investors. Um, because I have my first investors already um, from Curacao, uh, and I, I'm not sure how it goes here, but if you have investors ready, they're not always necessarily interested in um, having more people on the, around the table. Um, so I think um, I'm pretty happy with the investors I have at this moment. So maybe in half a year, we might be open for discussions to scale it more. But for now, it's good. Okay, yeah. thanks. All right, let's give Sabine Thank a round you. of applause. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. Oh, sorry.